Now look, a picture is worth a thousand words, so let's try this. This is kind of like your life. You're a vessel, the Bible says. You're, you're this container that needs to be full of love, needs to be full of life. And a lot of people experience, we all do, we experience the trials of life. And when you have the heat of life, because don't forget, life has motion, life has movement, so it's got friction. And when your life is just filled with this one, like hot air, it's just gonna, this is what happens to all of us without that love filling. But this on the other case, this on the other hand is a life, it's a vessel, and look, it's filled. I got it filled with water, which water represents the love. And look, the friction comes, the life comes, all the heat, all the adversity, perfect. How does that happen? What's the difference? It's the difference between a life being filled with authentic love and what we think, the idea of love. Without love, without true love, the trials and the heat of life are just too much to handle. You burn up, you blow up, you pop. Ignorance of what true love is distorts our understanding of what it does. Can I just say that again? Ignorance of what true love is distorts our understanding of what it does and therefore of who God is. Love is powerful. It's life-giving hydration. It's essential. It's everywhere. And yet, if it's not in you, you will die. You're going to pop, blow up. Love, like a mighty ocean wave, can evict all fear from the shores of your mind and your thinking. Aren't you glad about that? Love, like water, can be soft, can be hard as steel, a drop or an ocean, deep or shallow, above you and beneath you. Ephesians 3, verses 17 and 19. I love this. Listen. May Christ through your faith actually dwell, make his permanent home in your hearts. May you be rooted deep in love and founded securely on love, that you may have the power and be strong to apprehend and grasp with all the saints what is the breadth and the length and the height and the depth of it, that you may really come to know the love of Christ, which far surpasses mere knowledge, that you may be filled unto all the fullness of God and become a body holy, filled and flooded with God himself. Doesn't it just make you think of our balloon? Filled with water, able to easily handle the heat and agitation of life, the movements of life, the friction of life. Did you know this? This is all about being rooted securely in love with power, strength, and the full knowledge of God flooding you with himself. But you have to know the love of Christ. God's love is unfailing. It's perfect, patient, kind, and the essence of your true identity. Fake it and you'll never make it. You'll never have it. 1 Corinthians 13, 13 tells us these, thing, these three things remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is, guess what? Love. But you've got to have it. When astronomers look for life on other planets, what do you think they look for? Water. When life is measured on earth, what kind of unit would God measure it in? Love, the real stuff that is born of him and has the power to destroy and cast out all fear. 